الم يعني للذين امنوا ان تخشع قلوبهم لذكر الله isn't it time for the believers that their hearts are humbled for the remembrance of Allah if we're not upon it when are we going to be upon it because you may die life can go how many people their life has slipped or they've said to them you got one week to live what would you do if that was said to you you have one week to live one week to live they say that some terminal illness terminal disease you have one week to live what are you going to do this is your last week in the dunya what would you do the prophet ﷺ say used to say sallu salata mawaddin pray as if it's your last prayer not one week your prayer is your last prayer how would you make your prayer you make it the best prayer you make that prayer so beautiful that's how each and every prayer should be ibn abbas radhiyallahu anhu said malu ila dunya they reclined to the dunya wa a'radu an mawa'idillah and he turned away from the exhortations of allah the warnings of allah we read the quran and we hear the quran in ramadan and we hear it recited look at the nations that came before us and how they were destroyed because of their sins alam ya'ni alladhina amanu an takhsha'a qulubuhum li dhikrillah fearing that you fall into sins no doubt for every time a person sins a black spot enters or appears in his heart so if he desists seeks forgiveness and makes repentance then his heart is cleansed and if he returns to that sin it the black spot spot or the black mark is increased and until it takes over the heart that is the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam hadith hasan in Muslim Imam Ahmad and Sunan At-Tirmidhi and Sunan An-Nasa'i and Sunan Ibn Majah and Ibn Hibban and Shaykh Al-Bani rahimahullah said it's hasan good chain that black spot entering your heart every time you sin the hadith of Abu Hurairah radhi anhu and then he recited the verse barrana ala qulubihim ma kanu yaksibun rather it covered their whole heart for what they used to earn of sins Rana ala qulubim. That is the ran, the heart being blackened or covered and veiled. This Allah salama and Abdullah ibn Mubarak, from the scholars of the Salaf, he used to say, "I see that sins deaden the heart, and doing so continuously will produce despicableness. Abandoning sins is the life of the heart, and rebelling against it, meaning the sins, is better for yourself." ومعنى أن الله عز وجل ينهى المؤمنين ينهى المؤمنين في صحبة القرآن أن يكونوا مثل يهود والنصارى. So the rest of that verse regarding those who, who should humble their hearts when for the remembrance of Allah because straight away Allah سبحانه وتعالى mentioned the Quran وما نزل من الحق. So isn't it time that the believers' hearts are humbled with the remembrance of Allah, then he said, وَمَا نَزَلَ مِنَ الْحَقِّ Shaykh Nuthaymi Rahmullah said, يَعْنِي الْقُرْآنَ الْكَرِيمِ وَهُوَ مِنْ ذِكْرِ اللَّهِ And it's from the remembrance of Allah, the Qur'an. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala specified it. Additionally, after he mentioned the dhikr of Allah, to show you the importance of Qur'an, وَذَكَرَهُ بِخُصُوصِهِ لِأَهَمِّيَتِهِ He mentioned it specifically because of its importance. And likewise, Allah mentioned that in another verse. In Surah Al-An'am or Al-Ma'idah, He said, إِنَّمَا يُرِيدُ الشَّيْطَانِ أَنْ يُقِعَ بَيْنَكُمُ الْعَدَاوَةَ وَالْبَغْضَاءِ Shaitan wants to cause enmity between you. إِنَّمَا يُرِيدُ الشَّيْطَانِ أَنْ يُقِعَ بَيْنَكُمُ الْعَدَاوَةَ وَالْبَغْضَاءِ فِي الْخَمْرِ وَالْمَيْسِرِ وَيَصُدَّكُمْ عَنْ ذِكْرِ اللَّهِ He wants to take, by way of intoxicants, alcohol, drugs, and you can see that around you. People are walking as if they don't know who they are, where they are, killing indiscriminately because of drugs, because of dunya, because of a piece of paper. As you see in London, Muslims getting involved, falling into gangs, killing each other. Isn't it time that you humble yourself to the remembrance of Allah before you're killed? Before your brother's life is taken, your family's life is taken, before your house is bombed? 
Because of what? Piece of paper. Because of dunya. And we see that around us. It's becoming very common. People dying. It's increased. Stabbings. And forgetting the role in this life. Why are they here? For that? Alright, so now you have a car. Now you have this. Now you have that. Upon haram. It's not blessed. Something will happen to you. Don't think that barakah will come from that which is haram. Shaitan wants to cause that hatred between you by way of alcohol or by way of gambling or by way of these intoxicants, drugs and so on. He wants to cause enmity between you. And that's what's happening in London and, other, and in Birmingham as well. And in other cities, major cities. Around the world. For what? A miserable price. Miserable price. وَمَا الْحَيَاةُ الدُّنْيَا إِلَّا لَعِبٌ وَلَهُ what is this life but play and amusement? And the abode of the hereafter is better for the pious ones. Don't you reflect? The akhirah is better and everlasting. This is only a few days, Ya Abdullah. As Imam al Shafi said, Ya Nafsu Mahiya illa sabru ayyam. This is only a patience of a few days. Ya Nafsu. He's talking to himself. Look how the ulama used to be and how they are today. They talk to themselves to humble themselves. Sheikh Ahmad al Najmi, he wrote some poetry calling himself lazy. And of course, he's not lazy. He's a halim. You see his explanation of Umdat al Ahkam, you see how much knowledge this great Imam is. And you see his explanation of Asul al Sunnah, you see his firmness upon the aqeedah of Ahl al Sunnah. This great Imam, he's writing a poem against himself. To be better. Because the hardest what you knowledge that benefits does to you. It humbles you. And the knowledge that doesn't benefit, it makes you arrogant and proud. And he's calling himself this in his poem. Oh, the one who's sleeping in the night, he says. While you are seeking al-ma'ali, you're seeking the higher bones and you're sleeping at night.